addition of column values that are present in your flow if those values present on the logs table of power automate then it would really a nice feature to have hi everyone this is prashant choudhury i welcome you all to my channel classic power app in this video we'll be talking about the latest feature of this power automate where you can add the columns those column is actually the values of either the any variable values or the values that are associated with the trigger of a power automate into the logs table okay so i can just help you to understand in a better way so let me just take you to my screen so here i am on my power platform screen and here if i go with my flow let me just open any of my flow okay so i've opened this one here you can see for every flow if i open the details of the flow i can see it maintains the record of the logs up to 28 days so here you can see the log at what time at what day that flow has run what was the status and the duration okay if i open this flow let's say let me just open this of my flow i can see that that flow is triggering from the power app and it is simply listing some rows from the excel okay and responding back to the power app so let assume you have any type of power automate flow that is actually triggering from the power app not from the power app but its type of automate flow and in that case you like to see the values at the bottom itself then how you can do this so for now this feature in order to get this feature you need to go to the power automate okay you can't get this feature from the power app screen okay so we go with the power automate and the power automate if we go to my my flows here if i open the details of this flow i can see i have one option that is the edit columns this feature is actually used to get the values of any logs of on or any column on the on this table itself that you can see at the bottom these tables okay so if i click on this i can see it is not populating any of the column any of the column that i can edit here so the question is on what basis it defines it give me the that values right so let me just help you let's try to create one flow okay so come here not actually one actually two flow so all let me make the duplicate of this one one flow i am making the instant type test flow and another one i am making at an automate type okay when a new item is created in one of my share fund list so it my test flow 2 create so let's add on one variable here okay initialize some variable where one and let's say value to be type of a string and i'm passing an impression okay in that of my flow i'm just using only one variable that's it i'm not using i'm not creating anything more inside it and on the second i want that flow to be trigger whenever anything happen into my production site into one of my table let's assume this table i like to use let's say i have one deploy list okay whenever any item is created in my deploy list let's add variable here as well okay this is where one string type and okay save this one okay so i need this one 
side to trigger my flow. Right? Okay. Now let's see how it actually works. If I just click on this test, okay, manually test and run flow and done it is run successfully okay and let me just do it here for for the deploy list search search for my deploy list deploy list yes here only okay and add one value column table logs column flow logs table choice i'm using making it to be olex type no attachment just save it okay so definitely that flow would have triggered okay now let's come to the details of this flow okay got it so here you can see for my instant flow which i have trigger from the button from the click of one button okay i have that flow is have one successful run and the duration and the same i check for this one great okay so here here do i have the same let's see what are the options available to add the columns here if i click on this i can see for my instant flow i have only duration i have only username and i have only user email it means it actually depends let let me just show you one more time okay so i have added all i have getting only these three columns okay username user email and duration just save it and i'm getting these things my username my user email and the status okay the thing you can do here now if i come here i can see many options are there okay like id like title choice modified by many items are there if i save this i can see the item i have created i can see that values here okay so what we can actually conclude for now it's like the visibility of the columns is actually depends on the type of the flow you're using so i can what we have noticed like in both of the flows we have added one variable as well that variable is not in the option to even add okay neither here nor here it means only the trigger whatever the columns that can be associated with the trigger would be able to you can show them here okay the use of this is like whenever you have multiple uh, logs and you would like to check which log you need to just access then depending on this columns value you can extract your particular log and check the details of it so don't you think it is really an of uh, interesting like uh, how you can make it like you it, it would be the time of time saving okay how you can save your time you have hundreds of logs and you would like to only access one log then how would you filter so you would check in your list or maybe in your from your trigger like uh, which of the logs has triggered from which of the action okay depending on that value you can get your log so it would really a uh, good for the time saver in case of troubleshooting okay so yeah you need to uh, you can check it from the power automate not from the power app as i have already shown you like uh, here. here you can see if we go with from here from the power app, from the flows we we don't have the option to add the columns but from the power automate we have the option okay so yes that is all in this video so yeah this is actually a feature so just try to use it and try to make your troubleshooting faster okay so thank you everyone thanks for watching